Cheers. Cheers. You take a sip? This is so good. The wine idea came up because uh, I moved up to Napa after graduation, mm -hmm. and about six months in, came up with an idea to use their beautiful paintings on a bottle to create our own winery. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to be a beach lifestyle wine for millennials and make it affordable for them to just party with. And I felt that it was getting too traditional with labels, bottling. So with their artwork, we thought that we could kind of change the game. How do we how do we start with the wine labels? You approached us and said, I have an idea. You called. It was more so like, all right, sit down. I have a big one for you. I said, he said, he wants to start a winery. What do you think? And I said, I think we both need more information. <laughs> we took Parker very seriously. He had a history uh, working with wine. His father has been in the restaurant business for over 30 years, and Sandy and I were excited about it. We decided to have actual paintings made mm -hmm. uh, and have our labels not just be, you know, computer renderings of the paintings, but actually pictures of the paintings, because yeah. that's actually, you know, the whole point of this. Uh, is to make it authentic and real. Am I talking a lot? Is that what the smiling is? It's perfect. Am I saying nice words? Shelby? You're killing it. There's six foot by four foot paintings. Um, each one is hand painted with acrylic paint. We took high def photos of each one and then uh, turned those into what is actually on the bottle. The way that we wanted to lay out the labels was nighttime, daytime, and then the rosé was kind of more of a, it, it's an all-rounder. They can really be enjoyed in every situation. Cheers to that. It's very tasty too.